Michaela Vernava along with Tracy Wolfson. Tracy, what is the anticipation heading into a Super Bowl broadcast compared to just a regular game? You know, it's just everything is so much bigger. You know, every day you have something going on. Yesterday I taped the All Phil Sim Show, the All Iron Show. Today you have Media Day, and then we have Media Day in the afternoon as well with both teams. I mean, every day there's something up. So the buildup is so big. Um, it's exciting. I mean, there's definitely nerves involved in it. I know that, you know, with those first two hours before game time, I'm going to be like, let's just go already. Let's just kick off. I mean, that's how it happens. I'm sure it'll actually kick in around Friday also. You're like, okay, enough. Let's just play the game. Is there significance to you, too, that it's not just a Super Bowl? It is the 50th Super Bowl. Yeah, well, it, it is a bigger deal because it's the 50th, uh, a compilation of all the Super Bowls uh, coming into one. We know it could be, you know, bigger ratings than ever before. But you know what? I try not to think about that. I just think of it as another game, and um, and that's how I'll treat it come game day. We watched the Denver Broncos defense really crush the Patriots. And how do you think they're going to hold up against Cam Newton and his high-powered offense? Yeah, well, they'll hold up. I mean, they are um, one of the best defenses we've ever seen. And um, I was talking to Phil Sims about that. He's seen a lot of defenses in his time, especially the, the Chicago Bears defense in the 80s. But, um, you know, they are confident. They are playing at the top level. And it's from top to bottom, whether it's the line, whether it's the secondary, whether it's the backers. I mean, they are all playing at top notch. Uh, they will be healthy come game time, and they'll have a tough task on their hands. And the biggest thing is getting Cam down, you know, tackling him. But they had a challenge last week, too, or two weeks ago, too, against uh, Tom Brady and a guy like Gronk, oh, by the way, who's not easy to tackle. So um, they'll be prepared. The, the Panthers have, though, done really well, big spreads in, these, in the postseason. Do you think that's not going to be the case against such a good Broncos defense? I think what they'll try to do is get out to a really fast start and the key for the Broncos is to not turn the ball over it comes really more to their offense is taking care of the football and if that's the case um, and they can do that then I don't know I don't think that the Panthers will be able to jump out to that early quick start that will be the key for the defense make sure they don't do that um, and, and keep it a tight game throughout and then you know it's just like you know one change of the ball one turnover here you know a muff punt there and uh, the whole game can change and after somewhat of a rocky season for Peyton Manning. What do you think we'll see out of him in the game? Oh, well, I think we'll see Peyton Manning we saw last week, which was um, very methodical. Uh, he's so smart. Uh, he's winning with his mind rather than his arm. He can still make the throws he needs to make. They rely on their running game, which is important to take some pressure off him and to keep them off balance. Um, but it's all the mind games when it comes to Peyton and the way he can change everything at the line and how he prepares for a game this big. So, um, um, I think we'll see a Peyton Manning 100% healthy um, guiding his team out there. All of this being said, who do you think takes home the Lombardi? Oh, I'm not allowed to make any predictions. <laughs> I just hope for a very close, good game. <laughs> well, we know the players will have a long week of preparation. What is preparation like for you, though, this week? Yeah, for me, it's, um, you know, it started last week when we found out which teams were in it, and I compiled all my notes from all season long of both of their teams. And then it's about, you know, doing all these interviews, meeting with the teams, meeting with the players, going to practices, meeting with our production crew, setting up what our stories will be. I won't won't only be on the sidelines during the game, we'll be doing a lot of pre-game stuff as well. So getting those stories together um, and just staying in tune with both of the teams and making sure you're up to date and everything that's happening. Tracy, thank you so much. Really appreciate it.